blades are standard blades that have had the top part of the metal uh, removed and replaced with carbon fiber. The line of revolution is found only on John Wilson and MK blades. The idea behind it is to take a standard blade and make it as lightweight as possible. So a revolution blade is a normal blade with carbon fiber, therefore making the blade all round lighter. The benefits to having a lightweight blade means that jumping up and making those rotations is a little bit easier you're taking less weight up into the air with you so anything that's going to be lighter is going to be more beneficial for those jumps and for the rotation benefit involves things like spirals anything that involves lifting your leg sort of above waist height anything that's lighter at the end of your leg you will definitely appreciate and you'll be able to lift your leg much higher with a lot more ease So in this video we are going to be discussing the drawbacks or cons of a revolution blade um, because at the end of the day that was specifically what was asked for and that is exactly what we're going to do. The thing is when we talk about the drawbacks or cons with anything, boots, blades, it's all proportionate to you as a skater, who you are, how you skate and what you feel will benefit you. It's not something that every single person who has a revolution blade is going to experience and it's going to be a problem that you will face and there are other options as well. So definitely get in contact if you have any further questions regarding that about other options with regards to lightweight blades. So jumping straight in then, the first thing is the cost of a revolution blade. So with anything, when you're adding something to a standard blade, it obviously costs a little bit more. Um, and although it's not terribly more, it is enough for it to become a factor, especially when things are rolled around a budget. Ice skating isn't cheap at the end of the day, especially if you have children who are growing and they're growing sort of every six to eight months or every year, that can become quite expensive, especially if you're then having to pay out extra for a feature of a revolution blade. So another thing about revolution blades to be mindful of is the fact that the carbon fiber top resonates. If you haven't got that precision there uh, and you are catching your toe or there's a, there's a little bit of scraping or a little bit of something in the in there, it's gonna amplify that. So it's definitely something to have a little think about. For people who are potentially spinning whilst you're spinning, again, if you just catch your drag pick whilst you're spinning, it's gonna sound louder. It's gonna be amplified a little bit more than average as well. It's not to the point where you get on the ice and immediately you start skating and all you can hear is echoing. It's not that extreme. Um, in the past, we have had people go to revolution find it very difficult to get through their testing and then gone back to the standard version of that blade that's something that's happened in the past quite commonly um, so again it's something to have a little think about um, before you change over to revolution point starts off with a bit of a pro so the lovely thing about revolutions is they have a very unique shape um, and they do look very pretty on the ice they're very distinct you can definitely tell when someone has a revolution blade um, so again it shouldn't really come into it but if you are looking for something that is aesthetically different then this is definitely going to tick those boxes um, so revolutions some of the revolutions look like this so again you've got this very nice sort of triangular shape and you can see that carbon fiber top um, just there as well. So it's a very pretty, very dainty looking shape. Um, the Revolutions, they used to be available in black and silver. They are only now available in silver. So the downside to this shape is sadly, it does become very difficult to do Billman's or Billman spins, anything like that. The spacing of where you can place your fingers definitely becomes reduced. So usually, you know, with a standard shape of blade, you can get your fingers right in here and pull the back. It's very easy to get them into the middle or at the front here as well. When you do have the revolution shape, these sort of triangular shapes, um, unfortunately you are faced with a much smaller gap to try and get your fingers in. Um, when you are spinning and it is very imperative, you need to grab your blade and you need to get it behind you, it is definitely more difficult with such a small hole. The grip that you get from, um, from this shape of blade is definitely more fiddly to get around than a standard shape of blade. If you're a higher level figure skater and you can do your Billman spins and you have got them down to a T and everything is absolutely fine then you'll probably find that you won't have much trouble with it because your technique is already there. I definitely say that it is going to be harder for someone learning to do a Billman spin because your finger space is definitely reduced. 
So this next point is more cosmetic more than the way that the skates perform. The Revolution tops, just despite how careful that you can be, they do chip and scratch quite easily. By kicking yourself, scratching your own blade, which happens all the time in ice skating, it's just, it is one of those things. You're gonna see um, the effects of that much quicker on a Revolution blade than you would on a standard blade. You can see that as the, as the kind of gray comes off, you come down to this sort of black color, like a white or a black color, um, and then you can definitely notice it. Um, it's not too bad, but I've definitely seen um, a lot of skaters, especially at the front here, this whole piece just gets absolutely chewed um, and the blade then starts to look quite black because it has a layer of black underneath. So, um, you can actually, you can refresh them. Um, it's not a long term thing, it's a bit like boot you know, polishing your boots for competition. It is just for the competition and unfortunately it will eventually wear back off again. But for a competition, you can absolutely redo the revolutions and just make them look a little bit nicer. Um, send us a message if you'd like to know any more information about that, that's not a problem. Of the most popular blades out there that we especially we here at Everglides tend to supply is the John Wilson Coronation Ace um, and the natural progression from that if you were thinking to go lightweight would be the John Wilson Coronation Ace Revolution. The Ace Revolution is a little bit different to the rest of the Revolution family so the Ace Revolution actually has a more rounded shape to it rather than the triangular shape that you get from um, Phantoms, Pattern 99s, Gold Seal, Gold Star you are getting a slightly different shape with the Coronation Ace Revolution and again the same um, the same problem exists when talking about uh, getting your fingers in for billments. I think the opinion is divided. We've had people that absolutely love them and equally we have people that will change from Coronation Ace just to have the revolution, that kind of more triangular shaped revolution because they prefer that shape over the more oval sort of circular shape that the Ace comes with. Wonderful thing is that John Wilson for 2020 they have released a new blade called Coronation Ace Lite, L-I-T-E. Um, I'll pop a picture here now so you can see so it's got that triangular shape to it. Um, it's also slightly thinner than a standard Coronation Ace blade comes. So it's it's like having a parabolic blade without having the shape of parabolic. So it is gonna run slightly longer on the ice with less effort, which is also a nice uh, positive to have in there as well. But the main thing is it is a lightweight blade. It's got, a, it's got all the cutouts. It's much, much more lightweight than a standard Coronation Ace, but you're not having to rely on the revolution tops. So therefore, now that that revolution carbon fiber has been removed you take out the resonance sort of problem you also take out the fact that it's a little bit more difficult to get your fingers in those rounded spaces of coronation ace revolution um, although it's still more triangular shape um, but it does allow a little bit more space in there so your fingers definitely sit in there much easier for bowmans and things like that so before this video gets too long, I'm gonna wrap it up there. So that's the kind of basics, the main pros and cons about Revolution Blades. And I hope that's answered definitely some of your questions. If you have any further questions, just get hold of us. Either send us a message or leave a comment down below. It's not a problem at all. We'll be able to get back to you and make sure we answer all of those for you. For now, have a wonderful rest of the day and we'll speak to you soon.